Hey guys, so today is going to be March favorites. I tweeted earlier, which by the way, my Twitter link will be down below, but I tweeted earlier and let everyone know that I would be filming my March favorites tonight and I would upload it for you guys. So hopefully I can get this up tonight. March flew by like that. I mean, seriously, the year is just going to be over before we know it. It's crazy how time flies. But, um, this month, again, like, I had a lot of school. I was off for spring break one week, and so I really haven't been too crazy with the makeup type thing. I traveled one weekend, um, which was cool. I got to see my best friend. I was so excited. We I went for her daughter's birthday, and so that was really fun. Got to experiment with some makeup there because I really have just been traveling with a few basic necessities, and that's it. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and start. First things first, I've mentioned, or actually I've showed this maybe in another video, but I showed it in my updated makeup collection video, which if, if you haven't seen, I'll link down below. But this is like one of my all-time favorite powders and I don't even really use it on a day-to-day -day basis I use it for filming which is so weird because it's like why would you buy a powder just for filming but this is the wet n wild natural blend press powder and I have it in the color bear 824a and this was um released a while back I guess part of their natural line and it was I think a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine but either way it's an immaculate deal it does come with a little sponge that's convenient, but as you can see, it does eat up a lot of product, and if you have oily skin, it doesn't quite work out that well. But the powder is just regular powder. There was a design in there, but I've used it so much that it's worn off. Um, the powder is like silky, silky smooth, and I just, I don't know. I mean, it's a little light. Actually, it looks too light for my skin here but then when I apply it it actually makes my skin a little bit darker it's so weird but this powder if you suffer from large pores which I happen to have large pores especially right in here and then on the inner parts of my cheek this powder like completely fills in your pores which is so weird like I'm not wearing any foundation right now none at all no concealer no nothing just this and I didn't even wash my face before I applied it, I know that's horrible, but I just kind of swept it over my face, and I've had it on for a little while now when I was doing my makeup to get ready to film for you guys, but um, I don't know, I just, it's it's the weirdest thing. Maybe I'll try and insert a little clip showing how it works, because it is an awesome powder. So I've been loving this, and I've been loving it for a while, and I probably always will, because it's great for filming, like I said. One of the things that I've had in my um, car makeup kit is this trio from Stila. Um, this is, I don't even know what it, somebody, t oh, the It Girl palette. And somebody told me how to say these names before, but I don't really remember. This is L-A-M-E, but it has a little thing over it, so it may be Lame. Maybe La Mer, Chloe, and then Kitten. And, I mean, these two are pretty colors, don't get me wrong, but Kitten has been the one that I've been the most obsessed with lately. And as you can see, it's just a very, very metallic-y, pink, shimmery color. And it's super pretty. It's like the softest shadow ever. And actually, I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, which is a little bit of liner out in the, in the outer corner. And it's perfect for on the go. I mean, it totally brightens up your eyes. It's like the perfect eyeshadow for an everyday wear. And it you can wear it at night, too. So I really, really like this. I've been carrying it, like I said, in my car makeup bag. It's pretty much the only thing that I've been wearing lately. Another go-to thing that I've had in my makeup bag is actually a surprising little mascara. This is the Sephora Advanced Lash Boost. Uh, lash booster and it's just a sample mascara it's a baby one the wand is for as small as the mascara is the wand is really big but it is a standard wand nothing crazy about it but um, the mascara is awesome I have it on right now I only have one coat of it though because like I said I don't have too much makeup on but when you actually sit there and kind of go through your lashes over and over I mean it makes your lashes like boom like what pow <laughs> they're so I love this mascara I don't know if it's sold in a larger size, I think I got this back in a lash dash a while back ago, and I actually thought it would be dried out already, but it's not, and I actually, I really, really like this. So, um, when I use up some of my other mascaras, this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to go see if they have a full size up, because I love the way that it applies to my lashes. The next thing that I've been using, okay, I've been really trying to 
Ever since I did my updated makeup collection video, I asked you guys if y'all wanted a blog sale, and I had an overwhelming response, yes, I should do a blog sale. So I've been trying to weed out some things that I don't really use that I can part with that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have a crap load of stuff, but I'm really trying to just use up some of the things that I have and get rid of things that I never plan on using again. So one of the things that I've been trying to use up is my tinted lip conditioner. This is in the color Feeling Good, and I don't remember which collection this was released at or if I got it from a CCO. I really don't remember. I know that they don't, I don't think they have the color now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. So as you can see, I put a pretty good dent in it and um, it's just really moisturizing. Don't get me wrong. I love the color. I love the way these feel. It's just I have, I'm not a huge fan of the potted lip glosses and I have, um, so many of them as you guys saw. I have so many lip glosses and chapsticks and all kinds of crap that I just need to get rid of. So I have been loving this and I, I always will love it but having one on hand is quite enough. I don't need 20. So <laughs> that has been a favorite this month. My last like makeup product is blush and blush in general. Like I when I first started wearing um, makeup and getting into this whole YouTube thing I loved blush but not like I do now and I can I can blame that wholeheartedly on my best friend Heidi because she is a blush fanatic that girl will wear, will wear a crap ton of blush and she looks good doing it so ever since she just has pressured me to wear blush I've been obsessed and I really branch out to a lot of different colors I'm, I'm very proud of myself actually because I used to be so safe and just kind of like a baby doll pink and now I branch out to whatever as you can see I have a very bright coral cheek I don't know how well it'll show up but it is super bright and I have a bright coral lip and I'm not afraid to go out like this so one thing that I've been using quite a lot is my Coastal Scents 10 color blush palette which these are like I mean, I hardly see anybody talk about these anymore. When I first started YouTube almost two years ago, everyone and their mother talked about Coastal Scents, and I hardly ever see it talked about nowadays, but I really, really like this palette because I think it was only $15 or $16, and I bought it myself, and it has, like, every color, really, that you could think of, and as you can see, I do use it quite a bit. Um, I mainly use it when I do other people's makeup because it has a wide variety of colors. Some colors that I don't even own, like this dark color, I don't I don't own anything like that. And so right now I'm wearing this bright coral and this like toned down coral. So I mix the two to come out with this beautiful color. Something that I would wear during the summer, I feel like color uh, coral is a color that never goes out of style. And it's so easy to wear, especially if you have the skin tone like mine, or even darker, even lighter. I think coral is beautiful on everybody. So I really have been enjoying this, and it's a great travel palette as well. Although when I went to visit my best friend, I did take my Denmari palette, but that's because I wanted to see if she wanted to use it, because she wants that palette too. So <laughs> I didn't take that one, but I normally do take that one wherever I go. I have one nail polish for the month, and because of nursing school, I'm not really allowed to wear colored nail polish. I mean, I usually try and get away with like a nude polish of some sort or a very light pink, like a milky pink, but not like this. Like, this is on my toes right now. This is OPI Short Stories, and it's just like the perfect bubblegum pink, like blue-based. If I, I'm in the process of trying to paint my car pink, and this is like the color that I would want it to be. It's so pretty, and like I said, I had it on my toes. Two manicures now, or two pedicures I've had it on my toes. On my nails, I don't have anything right now just because I can't, like I said, have much on my nails during nursing school. So I try and keep it to a minimum or nothing at all. And they're short also, so, you know, they're kind of stumpy. <laughs> but yeah, this has been my go-to color and it probably always will be. You guys know pink is my favorite color, obviously. <laughs> In one of my recent haul videos, I showed you guys a new skincare product line that I picked up from Dermalogica. In that little pack, the little travel pack or starter kit, they had an eye cream, which I have been loving. This eye cream is just called Total Eye Care with SPF 15, again by Dermalogica. This is a little travel version of it. Um, I love this eye cream. The thing that I love most about it is that it is like a salmon colored eye cream. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but it is like, I guess, Leia, yeah, just like a salmon color. You, you can kind of tell there. So pretty much what I love about it is that it erases, like when you put it on in the morning, it's heavy and it's not heavy, ugh, it's not too heavy to where you can't wear it day and night. 
I just put a little bit more on during the night than I do during the day and it just completely erases like any under eye circles which is great like who would have thought of an eye cream that would do that normally you have to put like a corrector or a concealer on it um, or underneath your eyes so that has been awesome especially because I have barely been getting any sleep lately and it dries super quick like it's done and out you can't even tell that you have it on very lightweight and then the color just like I don't know it's awesome <laughs> I love it I'm going to be doing an updated skincare routine video very soon so you guys can see that in action also part of my skincare routine has been um, the Lancome Genifique which I think I put in a haul video already this is a skin serum and I was using the uh, philosophy help me for a while and then the Atrolin from my dermatologist and I love that in fact I think that was on my last month's favorite but love the way that it came out or made my skin feel and everything I just feel like I needed a little extra something to make it like go over the top so very expensive product but totally worth the price again I even what the other little products left with my little line my little wrinkle here it's like almost completely gone I'm just shocked I don't know I just really thought that having that there it would never go away you know it's part of aging and I have Lot, uh, lots of facial expressions and I just was like it's never gonna go away I have to live with it but this has almost completely taken it away now I don't know if you stop using like a serum like this if it'll come back or what but for right now I'm very very happy with the results again very expensive product I think this one was like $54 and it's only the 0.67 fluid ounce I think it's the smallest one but I've been using it for probably about a month now and I mean I still have plenty in there so it's definitely an investment product but definitely one that's worth the money second to last thing that I have for my March favorites is uh, dry shampoo this is the Oscar Blondie volumizing dry shampoo for brunettes this is the travel bottle um, you guys saw I put this in a haul not too long ago but that haul was pre-recorded like from a couple weeks before I put it up so I've actually had this a while in fact this is almost gone I took this with me to visit my best friend and I love this dry shampoo if you're a brunette you definitely have to give this a try if if you like the trust me one if you like the suave one if you like the pst one <laughs> any of those like this one is so much better than the rest of them especially if you're a brunette because it not only does it smell good but it does not give you any kind of white residue at all I mean like and it doesn't feel heavy or like you have any buildup in your hair I absolutely love the way that this makes my hair feel my very last favorite for the month has been Jewel Mint and I've told you guys so many times I have Jewel I'll have their website um, linked down below they have amazing jewelry I have honestly I don't think I can complain about any of the jewelry that I have from there this one in particular this is the Everfrost ring this it's a gold plated the shape of it's really cool it's almost like in a square um, it has like the pave diamonds up here with the white strip here and it fits me perfect on my middle finger and I just think this is so like I don't know <laughs> rebel meets classic chic type like I feel like this can dress up any outfit but it can it also gives you the edginess so not everything's such a clean line and perfectly put into place so I really have been enjoying this I ordered the Luxor ring which should be coming in soon again coupon codes down below I've told you guys before like I don't order anything from their website without having a coupon code and almost always it's like 20 30 percent off existing customers because I just can't see paying $30 per jewelry piece when you can get something like this may not be as good a quality but you can get something like this from forever 21 for cheaper so I don't mind ordering as long as I have a coupon code. <laughs> so yeah, that has been another favorite of mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this March favorites video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!